Halo predictions for 2019. Stay tuned throughout the entire video to understand all the details. But how's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again give you a gameplay commentary here. Today we're going to be talking about the expectations for Halo in 2019. Will Infinite have a release? Will we see the flighting program? Will we have a re more reveals at E3? Some vid docs, some development stuff, more updates to the MCC and Halo 5. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary. We're talking about some predictions for Halo this year, including Infinite, MCC, and Halo 5. If you like these kind of speculation kind of commentary, off the cuff kind of videos, please make sure to type that like button. Let's know anyways see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below about the five things you guys are expecting for Halo this year. And if you're new to the channel, want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, Please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because some boxes have been a bit weird. Yes, we all know. But let's get right into the video here. Well, the first thing I'm sure is on everybody's mind when it comes to Halo in 2019 is will Halo Infinite release this year? And I would have to say from what I've seen and what I've kind of read about and uh, how things are kind of lining up. No. Yep, that's a big fat no on that one, sadly. But hey. You know, it, it, making a game like Infinite was the way it's looking to play out. It's uh, it's gonna be a pretty big uh, accomplishment to get this game done in a reasonable amount of time. Now, when would I expect this game to be released? Probably not until 2020. Now, that's just not just speculation. There is a bit of continuity that I'm expecting to happen with uh, the release of Halo Infinite as well, because we all know that the Halo TV show is gonna be releasing in the fall of 2020. And if you look at Google Trends, every time the peak popularity in Halo, when you know people are searching for it online, is when a new game is coming out. So why would you release a TV show a year after the major games release? It would not make sense. And so that's why I'm thinking that they would correlate the game to be released and like a month later have the TV show come out. To me, that would only make sense. And so I feel like when they kind of announced that that TV show would be released in 2020, it kind of vicariously announced the release year of infinite so fall 2020 is what i'm expecting for the game and also big rumors about a new xbox console coming out that same time as well there are some various code names being shown around but it's really just kind of rumors at this point but it's kind of at the point where we're kind of expecting to have a new console come around here pretty soon I would expect a 2020 release to be making sense and how awesome would it be to have Halo Infinite as a launch day game for your console. We haven't had that since Halo CE, which is kind of crazy to think about how much of a, of a flagship uh, franchise Halo is to Microsoft and only have it be a launch product for an Xbox, have it be on the original Xbox back in 2001. It's kind of crazy to think about. So yeah, with those two rumors going around, knowing about the TV show, I'm thinking Infinite would be released in 2020. But don't fret though, I do think we'll have a chance to play Halo Infinite before the end of this year. Now let's go into kind of chronological our idea of these next few topics I want to touch on here. So I don't really think we'll get very much information up until E3. It'd be very light trickles, kind of like what we have with the social stream might have like one or two more of those like info like dumps when it comes to Halo Infinite uh, but I wouldn't expect a whole lot uh, so as a content creator that's a bit yeah but you know I'll try my best to give you guys entertaining content uh, I think once E3 rolls around we're gonna have a full-on gameplay reveal and we're gonna finally understand what this game is going to be now, uh, there is a lot to talk about how this different directions this game could go how this you know the multiplayer is going to play out the campaign is going to play out uh everyone is just it's all speculation at this point and i do feel though that we'll get a good understanding of what the game will be and uh, it might even might announce like some maybe new game modes or something like that some overlying overarching kind of things that they're trying to accomplish with the game uh, i think it'll be just kind of showing off master chief probably in some campaign footage maybe even a little bit of multiplayer stuff we'll see and uh, that's all I'm really expecting with that. But I think after that E3 release this year, we're going to get a big ramp up when it comes to infinite information until the actual release of the game. Talking about a big ramp up of information, back on top of what I was talking about, the flighting program, I'm assuming it's probably going to happen 
probably fall of this year when it comes to Halo Infinite. If you guys don't remember, uh, when Infinite was first announced, Chris Lee said on Halo Waypoint that they were going to do a flighting program, much like the MCC, but for Halo Infinite, because they want to integrate the community when it comes to talking about uh, the game, how to make it better, give players what they want, because no game has such a large player base and different player base than Halo. That's what I love about this franchise so much, that you can enjoy the game in so many different aspects, and to keep all those people happy is a feat in itself, and that's gonna be pretty tricky, so that having a flighting program will be very necessary for Infinite. But I do expect that to probably come out sometime fall this year. Hell, if, if, you know, if uh, Microsoft wants to go big and they'll say, yeah, right after this E3 conference, you'll be able to play Halo Infinite. Like, that would be pretty insane. I wouldn't expect that, but uh, I think it would be a pretty awesome thing to have happen <laughs> to be able to play Infinite this year. But I'm pretty sure we'll be able to play Halo Infinite sometime this year for the general public, which would be pretty awesome. Now that flighting program is going to probably do the same thing as it did with MCC as it's starting out really small but then work its way up. Uh, I guarantee it's going to be a heavily NDA to the point where it's going to be such a honor to get a chance to play it that you know they got to be very trustworthy people within the community to get a chance to actually play this game because they may do um, you know, get a semi-closed beta before release, but it's going to be pretty tricky to do that if you're not going to show off any gameplay or anything like that, because something's going to get leaked. When you give it to the general public, Something, somebody is going to be a jerk about it and leak out something. And first impressions is everything. So the fact that they're doing a flighting program before release, it makes me think about how maybe this E3, they're going to give you a lot of information when it comes to Infinite, because right now, there is a very playable version of Halo Infinite at 343. Also mentioned in that social stream, like I made a video about, they were talking about how every year 343 does an in-house tournament when it comes to you know, playing Halo. You put your teams together and you play whoever the best team wins kind of thing. But they said kind of like low key that they're gonna be playing Halo Infinite for this, which makes me believe that they have a very playable version of Halo Infinite at 343. And so then I would think that you have a pretty solid idea of what you want to accomplish with their game. So then you can probably give away that at E3. So it'll give kind of some first impressions kind of stuff. And then also get a chance to play Halo Infinite this year for uh, some flight testing, which would be fantastic. And after E3, I would expect to see some sprint videos, some vid docs, some, some insight into the development of Halo Infinite, much like we had with the, the sprint for Halo 5 and stuff like that. Because I believe that happened about a year before the release of Halo 5. I was looking through the uh, Halo YouTube page and they were making content about Halo 5 at least three years in advance on their YouTube channel. So then you can kind of assume they'll probably be using the same kind of tactics when it comes to talking about Halo, getting people excited for it. Because the marketing for Halo 5 was fantastic. Just that the campaign kind of let everyone down, but that's a different commentary right there. But then you'll be definitely seeing a lot of content from me about the sprints, vid docs, any information coming from Halo. I will make content about that because I've kind of built this channel to be more of an informational kind of center when it comes to Halo. So you definitely believe I'll be talking about that. And lastly, to hold this all over until 2020 is what I'm expecting is that we'll be seeing some content updates to MCC, some new additions, as in like the content browser coming to MCC. So we'll be able to, be able to do uh, browsing for custom games, which would be fantastic. Um, I'm th really, really hoping for Firefight for ODST. I'm just crossing my fingers. That's pure speculation. That's just me just talking what I want. But I think we'd get some more content drops when it comes to MCC. Maybe some more Forge maps coming in for multiplayer and things like that. And also we're kind of refining the online experience as well as they've been doing since September, which has been awesome. And also a multiple refreshes when it comes to Halo 5. I think they're going to be kind of working hand in hand to keep both these games sustainable uh, to play uh, continuously. As we all know that uh, Halo 5 will be having a BTB refresh coming, so you know, of course, I'll be making content on that as well. And I'm just trying to keep both those games fresh and fun for people to keep playing. And I think for both those games, it's custom games and Forge and putting those, implementing those things in the matchmaking, which will extremely keep those games alive because 
you know, for a whole, I have to wait essentially two years almost, it's going to be like until the next Infinite comes out. And so it's going to be quite a long time uh, until we get a chance to play the full game. But uh, hopefully uh, we'll get the chance to play the flight program this year, which is my, I'm really banking on that this fall. So in the comment section down below, guys, write about what you are all expecting to see in Halo for this year. Infinite, Halo 5, MCC. Let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel, stay up to date with anything Halo related. Please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell. I'll keep you notified because, you know, sometimes subscription boxes can be pretty weird. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, make sure to tap that like button. As it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. If you're new to the channel or missing any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.